Mr. Bandit 81 here with a review on Construct Bots Transformers Dinobot Slug Rages 6 and up 28 pieces Saw this over at the Big Lots in Town about a week or so back and thought it just looked cool uh, especially the uh, image here well it's on the back so it's um, here's the pieces uh, for the set shown here for some reason when I saw the uh, skeleton frame here for the character for some reason metabots popped into mind uh, you can go from dino mode to robot mode or correction robot mode to dinosaur mode and then have a character hop on and ride For some reason uh, Doctor Who episode popped into mind for that one but for what's going on here uh, but yeah uh, if y'all saw the movie for uh, the last Transformers movie that came out, you probably saw this character in the, the store, I mean, on the film. And yes, I've already had the box opened. Let's uh, take a look at the character. Okay, here he is, put together. It was a lot of fun to, to build. And going with the instructions, you can go from robot mode to dinosaur mode in uh, some easy steps. Character looks pretty cool looking. And it's got some good detail in it, including the chest area here. And dinosaur head as well yeah it does have some uh, gears on the inside of the uh, torso as well as on the back as you can see which hooks to back one here which I'll show you here shortly and what it does you do have some articulation in the head here good 360 degree turn can move it up and down uh, movement on the arms full uh, 360 up and down as well as in the uh, elbow joint here uh, more or less uh, forward and back where the ball joint is other than that, only a little bit of movement, movement left to right, depending on how you've got it. Uh, same with the legs and the hand piece right here. Forward and back, a little bit of side to side movement. Uh, leg pieces. Forward and front, side to side, and uh, the feet are the same. Stop, hammer time. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the transformation for this guy. Uh, the uh, part rack here just uh, lifts up and snaps into place right here and 
and the uh, gears you see along here line up for uh, turning this piece uh, more or less leave the uh, head in place right there uh, weapon looks like a Cleon Batleth almost from how it looks and yeah, I've watched too much Star Trek but that's just me okay uh, just rotate from the elbow joint here forward and uh, lower down the feet now th they will pop out pretty easy uh, the instruction shows for the legs here that uh, this part here turns to the side back of the feet becomes the front and vice versa same for over here as I said comes off pretty easy and just hooks back into place uh, from what showed in the instructions uh, uh, supposed to, how it's supposed to look once done better hook the tail on For some reason, the, having it done up like this doesn't quite uh, look quite right. But that's just me. Crazy thought that popped in the mind would be uh, turning this part or keeping it as is from robot mode take two okay for those that's probably built with these y'all probably know uh, you know bum ball joints coming out easy Don't know if that would look look right to uh, any of you out there, but it's a crazy thought on my end. It's still pretty cool looking, and especially seeing how you can see the gears move on the inside when the neck piece is moving. Uh, still got the same type of movement in the legs as for in robot mode and uh, the tail here just uh, up and down movements uh, uh, filming outdoors got and deal with the bees flying by uh, horns are more or less stationary once you get them hooked in the uh, jaw on this guy does move up and down and it does have some cool looking details to it for almost looking like a skull and kinda like how they got the blue spot right here for the eyes For uh, 
transforming back is the same thing for in reverse. So straighten the legs out. Turn the feet back around. Fold the hands back. And then lower back down. Yeah, when I was looking at the uh, box for this guy, I thought uh, the frame could almost go for like a Metabot from the uh, anime show. It's one show I haven't seen in a while. Might have to put put DVD in and uh, watch a few episodes. Uh, you can almost imagine one having a uh, dinosaur look to it almost. Oh, I did for almost forget one thing. Back in February, I got this character for uh, a birthday gift from someone important. It's supposed to, uh, well, when I saw the back of the box with this guy on here, figured, cool. Uh, I guess I better put this dude back into robot mode. Uh, cor correction. Dino mode, not robot. He's already in robot mode. Uh, head sculpt still so looks like a Viacon from Beast Wars. Okay. Uh, not sure why Beast Wars came to mind. Beast Machines. Ah! Did it again. Beast Hunters. Beast Hunters. Not Beast Machines, not Beast Wars. Beast Hunters, I think. Yeah, I've watched too many Transformers cartoons. <laughs> now he's back in beast mode here. This guy, who I'm drawing a blank on his name, uh, just hooks in right here for a team up. Spot right between the, his legs here where he just hooks in. Right there. Uh, just get, get him set up here. For some reason the uh, episode of Doctor Who popped in mind. Dinosaurs on a spaceship. <laughs> What you get. Character writing back of a triceratops. Uh, other than uh, part of the chest area still showing for robot mode and the head. The character is pretty cool looking. Other than uh, pieces popping off easy, it's still a cool build. Uh, I know I had to switch uh, a few of the uh, pieces around for the uh, arms and legs around. Uh, it took about 10 minutes to build the character. Probably would have had done in maybe eight, 7 or 8, but switching the uh, parts around eh, added an extra minute or two. Now the uh, headpiece other than the horns and the gears in the torso or area uh, were all together the only thing you had to do was uh, hook the gray piece on for the chest area to the uh, skeleton frame and a few minutes later you got yourself a dino, dino bot 
I hope you enjoyed the review. Have a good one.